moments away from... Back here on EA Sports, James Sabolski along with Ray Farrar, who's down at ice level. This should be a fun one here this evening. The Rockets play it along the boards. Regains possession at center. The Spirit have gained control of the puck along the wall. Exploring options here inside the defensive zone. They've got the defense outnumbered. Great heads up play in the defensive zone. The Rockets are in transition. Nice connection on the cross ice pass. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Here's a chance, a two on one. He scores! And he opens up scoring early in this one. To be honest, James, I wasn't even paying attention. I was getting something to drink, and it's in the net. Pay attention, the puck dropped already. I see that. Still lots of time left here in this frame. We've got a 1-0 hockey game thus far. Cruz wins it in the dots. Moves it to Beck. He grabs the puck here at the point. From point blank, stopped by the goaltender. The Rockets in transition at center. Coughs up possession of the puck. There's the whistle penalty coming up. The Spirit have been called for tripping on the play. Played with fire, he got burned, Ray. Oh, he's digging around for the puck, and sometimes you just get caught. This time the player goes down, and he's got to go to the box. Gets it out of his own end. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Nice dish from the left wing. From the point, they take control of it. Takes control of the puck. Taken by foot. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Made the stop on that play. Oh, he's trying to box him out. This is getting a little testy. And they're going to go. Jill Levesque to step on in here, right? Yeah, this is clearly over, James. Uh, I don't like when the guys start throwing them like that. Somebody looks like they're going to get hurt every time. But I don't know that the home guy did very well there. Here's a short pass to Jenkins. Excellent stick work on the play. The Rockets move the puck in the defensive zone. Takes the feed ahead from the left side. Takes the return feed. The Rockets take it across the blue line. Can't keep a hold of it after that hit. Slides the puck over. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. The Spirit have the puck in their own zone. And that slides right out to center ice. Puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Cruz. No one home on that play. Takes a whack but still hangs on. The Rockets played along the wing. Can't connect. Maintains possession. Oh, he laid a solid hit on him there. He was waiting for him and laid the shoulder right into him. That might loosen a few of the choppers on that play. Here's a shot, traps that puck tight into his chest. And we're gonna get a stoppage here as the referee blows the play dead. Well, that'll do it for an entertaining opening 20 minutes of hockey as the horn sounds. Saginaw's pace of play, the difference here in the first 20 minutes, they lead it one nothing. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Kelowna's got the puck in their own end. Here's an odd man rush. Scrum along the boards as they battle for the puck. From the point, and that's wide of the net. And as he opts to freeze the puck, we get a whistle. Starting to look like a little bit of a fire drill in the zone, so this is a good play. 
Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. We got a 1-0 game to this point. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Quick feed down low. Couldn't find the intended target. Shot! How did he stop that one? Yeah, he got a little testy once the whistle blown. He's pushing him out of there. Absolutely rocked down to the ice there. That was a heavy blow, and that is the end of this bout. And here comes referee Gilles Levesque to clean things up. You just don't see this much anymore. First of all, a fight. Secondly, that somebody's hurt at the end of it. Uh, hopefully, he's not hurt too badly. Time left in this frame. Saginaw's ahead, 1-0. Kelowna's got possession here in their own end. Trying to clear the puck from his own end. Call that a win for the penalty killers on that one. Yeah, he slams it off the glass. Now the power play's got to go back to get set up. Wax it into the offensive zone. The Spirit have taken possession along the wall. Here they come up along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Cruz. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Saginaw's exploring options behind the net. Obstruction penalty coming up. Looks like a hook here. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. The Rockets have been handed two minutes for hooking. There's certain plays, as soon as they happen, the red flag goes up for the official. Stick goes across the player's waist. He's looking for hooking. The game has become better since they've cracked down on obstruction, Ray. Saginaw's got it in the offensive zone. Fires away! Puts it just wide of the net. Battle along the boards. The Spirit have gained possession off the wall. Pucks it away in his own end. And he regains control of the puck. They get it out of the defensive end. The Spirit have possession along the boards. Tosses it on to Beck. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. And the penalty killing unit doing work. Excellent kills. We're both back to even strength. Play is blown dead. We've got a penalty on the way. Number 77. Two minutes for obstruction. Holding. They've been trying to cut out the clutching and grabbing, and this is a pretty clear-cut case here. Yeah, I don't think you're going to get away with this very often unless you can shield the official from view, but holding call is the right one. More than half the period has expired. We've got a 2-0 game here tonight. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. They clear the zone. Receives the pass. Colonus across the blue line. Saginaw's penalty killers get a hold of it. Can't maintain possession. Saginaw's got possession at center. Quick feed to Cruz. Saginaw's got the puck in the corner. The Rockets will play it in their own end. Saginaw's gained possession along the boards. Both teams back to even strength. Really nice effort by the penalty killing unit on that one. Well, the only thing that happened on that power play was the clock rolled along. Very few chances, not much danger. Sends it across. Takes the feed. And that's blocked. Referee Shilovec's hand is in the air. We've got a penalty coming up. Made that stop. You put this kind of pressure on, eventually they can't chase you anymore. Now he's got room to carry the puck. And the whistle stops the play, and someone's off to the box. Cruz is off to the box for charging. He'll be heading to the penalty box for a couple of minutes. That's a charging penalty every day of the week. Saginaw penalty to number seven. Two minutes for charging. Time of the penalty, 12 minutes, 32 seconds. Just here in the late stages of this frame, Saginaw's got a slim lead. They lead it 2-1. Cruz wins the draw on their own end. And they get some breathing room as the puck leaves the defensive end. Colonna's got it behind the net. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Jabs the puck away. A chance to get it out of the defensive zone. And he gets the job done. Big thumbs up clearing that one. Slides it on over to Poole. Colonna's got it across the line. Hangs on to the puck. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Here's an offensive chance. The Spirit have the puck against the boards. And some good footwork to kick it away. And they can't score on the power play. They still trail by a goal. Oh, they're going to rue that one. A chance. Scores! And quite the counterpunch. We're all in the Now that you've scored this time goal, you'd like to follow it up with a shift or two. See if you can really change the momentum. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Trying to get back on the attack now. And it's a quick pass to Cruz. From his own end, he picks up the puck. Quick pass to Cruz. Couldn't make that one happen. Nice pass. Move to the middle. Takes a bump but hangs on. Saginaw's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Takes it at center. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Here's a chance to set up now. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. Turns it away. Saginaw's got it in their own zone. Moves it to Cruz. Here they are on the attack. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. In the second period. Well, what a quick reflex stop that is. Great scoring chance. Here in the later stages of this period, Saginaw's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Period number two is in the books. There's been no shortage of offense tonight. Welcome back, everyone. He's Ray. I'm James, and we are ready to kickstart this third period. Moment of truth for one team. Here we go. Third period is underway. Cutting to the front of the net. Handles the puck. Takes the pass. Takes the feed. Shot. Oh, oh that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Sends a pass over. Here's a short pass to Beck. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. There's the whistle stopping the play. And he's heading to the box for two for tripping on this one. This is such a bad penalty to take because you put yourself yeah. in a bad spot. A player falls down. Now you're cooked. You go to the box. Well, he's got two minutes to think about it now. Moves it quickly over to Cruz. Grabs control of it at the point. That pass doesn't go. The Rockets will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. Well, if they were going to stay in the game, they had to kill that off. You cannot lose touch with the score here. Sends it down low. Huge steal in his own end. Colonna's had outstanding stick positioning. Coaches will love to show this in the video tomorrow. A chance! Just wide of the net! Oh, he worked hard to generate that shot. He just misses wide. Grabs the puck here in the neutral zone. There's the whistle from the linesman calling it offside. The rookie's been a big part of this team, and the coach has gone to him here, James, because they have got nothing going on. It's been a flat listless performance. Yeah, they've been absolutely lifeless out there. They need a shock or something to wake them up. The Rockets have had plenty of good looks, but they still trail early in this third period. Sends the pass over. Quick feed to Cruz. Saginaw's got the puck in the defensive end. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Saginaw's got the puck against the half wall. The Spirit have taken possession along the wall. Oh, puts it wide! You kick yourself in the tail after you miss a chance like this. Has to be on the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. Saginaw's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Trying to get it out. And a big defensive play as they'll clear the zone on the penalty kill. No mistake there. That puck had to go down the ice. It's down off the glass. Into the corner. Moves the puck. Takes a wrist shot just wide. 
Saginaw's going to be able to kill a few seconds off now with the puck. And they manage to clear it. Slides the puck to Poole. And that one's picked off. Saginaw's lead is still intact after a solid effort by the penalty killing unit. The penalty kill gets the job done. At times, it looks like it's a little leaky. Tonight, it's just been average at best. And he loses control of the puck. A shot misses over the net. Colonna's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice puck check inside the attacking zone. The Rockets move it in. Colonna's got it along the wall. Steps in front of it for the block. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Into the corner, he takes the pass. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. From the left side, takes the pass. On the attack along the boards. Tip shot, big time stop. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Cruz plays it now. Slides the puck over. Tosses it to Jenkins. Takes it across the blue line. Nice poke check. Now a quick pass to Beck. From the right side, they gain the zone. Can't get a hold of that pass. Slides it diagonally to foot. Receives the pass. Let's it go. Denied by the goaltender. Foot's efforts have to be towards creating offense. He gets stopped there, but I like the fact that he's back to doing what he's supposed to do. The fight is in the past, and he doesn't need to be doing that very often. And there's the final horn, bringing this one officially to an end. Saginaw's winning ways are showing no end here, Ray. No, they're not, James. I mean, I... I love the way they're playing, and when you watch the play, it seems like they're going to win all the time. They have total belief in their team. In a one-game showdown, the best team doesn't always win in those cases. This case, the best team did. I would agree. When you get into multiple games against the same opponent, flukes go out the window, and the team that deserves to win likely does. We are... For Ray Ferraro, my name is James Sabalski. We'll see you at the next oh, And I'm just going to say, I don't think the kid ever got an opportunity to really show what he could do in that situation. You saw how the coaching staff had really challenged him in that moment of the game. And yeah, I don't know if the way that things were going, how the coach was rolling lines, but also the disruption and the flow of the game, I don't know if the kid ever really got a chance to show what he could do or rise to that opportunity. I'd like to see it. We just never did. All right, back to the phones we go. Who we got on line five? Hello?